Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren and today we're unboxing a bank donation I received from a stranger for my crochet club students. Basically on Reddit one day I mentioned that I am an advisor of a crochet club. A woman messaged me saying she had extra yarn and then sent me this box. So without further ado, let's go. Looks like there are three skeins of 100% acrylic, like color changing yarn. Um, I'm looking for mostly Erin and worsted weight. That's what my kids are used to using. And so I'm going to separate those into uh, one pile. So this is great. Good first start. This, I will, I will keep these together. Um, someone, one of my kids will probably make like a bigger project from these. I'll put these into a pile for the worsted and Aaron White. Okay, then we have a project bag. Another project bag. Oink pigments. Cute. The kids will love these because right now we're just using plastic bags or they're just like putting it into their backpack. Um, here's another one. It's like a tote trilogy yarns. Sweet. Um, some patterns. This is a cowl, cool pilot cowl, and then another like scarf looking thing. Okay, next. The first thing that catches my eye, that caught my eye, um, was this guy. I've seen these in the store before. It's Sesame Street Lion Brand One Hat Wonder. And so it comes with enough yarn to make a beanie, like a hat, along with this little plushie that you can use as like a pom-pom on the top. Or like, I don't even know. Just as like a keychain or uh, many uses, but it has this little like hook. Super cute. The kids will love this. And even though it's Sesame Street character, um, they will still love it. Doesn't matter that they're in middle school. Um, awesome. And I think there's some others. There's a Sesame Street. I mean, there's a <laughs> Big Bird and an Elmo. Gang's all year. Okay, so let's see. Next one. There's Ba Lahala. Pink tourmaline. This looks like fingering weight. <clears throat> um, this I'm going to put into a separate pile because it's too thin for what my kids use on a regular basis. This is like a going into a brainstorming pile. I need to think about what to do with these different weight yarns. Okay. Next. Ooh. Another one reminds me of the Sesame Street ones. It's the Karen Cupcake, and it comes with a pom-pom. Ooh, to make a beanie like this, like, it changes color on its own, which my kids really love. Uh, it's just easier. They can continue dating the whole way with one strand. I love that. Ooh, this guy is Noro. Noro yarns. I love Noro brand yarns. This is 50 grams. Akogare. Um, beautiful looking colors, but this is not worsted or Aran weight, so kids are going to have to use a smaller crochet hook, which most of them don't have. We have them, but, alright, this, I need to go, it goes into the alternative pile, brainstorming pile. Next, we have a solid blue. Blue yarns at the Dollar Tree are hard to find, so this, kids are going to love this have a blue option. Another solid, we got Lion Brand, Wool Ease, and 
This is in perfect weight for your kids. Purple. Purple is probably the most like popular color at Crochet Club. Next. This looks like the Huasco DK. Mmm. Nice color. This also is kind of thin for your kids' regular use. Uh, alternative pile. Beautiful though. I like the ocean colors. Next. These two, ooh, two skeins of Sunseeker Shade, 50% cotton, 50% acrylic from Cascade Farms. And this too is not bulky enough. Maybe if they're held together, then they may be chunky. Okay, um, these will go to the alternative pile. So these are all the yarns I have in the alternative weight quote unquote pile <laughs> uh there's just so much yarn everywhere i don't know where to look <laughs> like everywhere uh okay Ooh, this is a fun one i'm seeing alpaca that i have never seen yarn like this this is really cool it looks like a tortoise shell or like blue and white like ocean water surface print <laughs> Thing. I don't know. Um, definitely alternative, but something cool could be done with that. Ah, color changing cake. Sublime Eden. Oh, this is enough. 150 grams. Enough to make a scarf. My kids will love this. Love. Some of them are already making scarves with a bunch of skeins of, like, just one color. So... It's nice, it's all in one. Next, oh, off the hook. Hmm. This one, I'm realizing as the video goes on, this, you don't even need a crochet hook or needles to make. It's a uh, yarn that has all of these hooks just built in so you can do it with your hands. Next, this is a rainbow. This, yo, this is so cool. Literal rainbow strand. And I'm thinking there's a Rainbow Alliance Club that also meets the same day as Crochet Club. And I have kids who are in both. And so they might like these. Um, the advisor also of that Rainbow Alliance also wanted to do like a craft. So in one of their meetings, so I could also give this to them. They could make some fun, some fun things. Ah, many opportunities, but this is a different shape even than the normal yarn, so we'll give this maybe to them. Mm, next, this is, can you listen to the tan dive? Hmm in orange slash gray and it looks like there's this like creamsicle-y orange and like a burnt orange mm. and then like spots of gray 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 and we got one skin of this this is great um the labrigo oh yes labrigo this is whoa worsted Perfect. Worsted weight, and I'm probably gonna have to probably have to spin this into a ball because otherwise it will get so knotted. I'm gonna spin it, yeah, into a ball for the children. They will love it. It'll be this is great because the kids will get to feel something other than acrylic, just for like budget reasons. We haven't been able to get anything other than acrylic, so this is special. These ones are special because they get a taste of the finer things next Ooh, there is no tag on this but it looks like fingering weight um i'm loving the speckle mm, yeah it's lighter weight than that one um hmm maybe dk like this one so i need to put this in the alternative pile but it's so pretty 
might need to make swatches for these to see if, how they look with our kids crochet hooks next yeah this is I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to uh, spin that into a ball also um next we have Bud and Chloe sweater yarn and this like Mm, dark or burnt orangey red skein perfect weight for my kids I will just have to uh, spin it into a ball easy finally got a yarn swift and wonder <gasps> ooh where do I look where do I look rainbow Ella Ray cozy soft prints <gasps> oh gorgeous Gorgeous, gorgeous. Perfect weight, too, for my kids. They will love that. This is so kind of this lady. I, like, I cannot get over. Um, then we have... This is, like, threaded with silver. A teeny bit of silver. My kids would obsess over this. Um, but it is lighter than worsted or Erin weight. So I need to think of what else they can use it for. Or how, how else we can use it. With which hook. Um, and then this is Mirasol. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This one says, Peru's heritage and culture of textile artistry is one of the richest in the world. Without the shepherds tending their animals and proving highlands, we would not have this beautiful, luxurious yarn. By purchasing Marisol products, you are supporting the children of these shepherds and a continuation of this ancient tradition. A portion of every purchase is directly de dedicated to the funding of a school in the remote area of Munyani in the region of Puno. Wow. In the color Solaris. This is beautiful. It is super bulky. And we have some jumbo crochet hooks for the kids. So I'll probably, when we raffle it off, we'll have to um, lend them a jumbo hook. Uh, ooh. Next, 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 next. Oh, we're at the bulky. These are look like they're all bulky leftover. So I'm bringing back this one with that I opened earlier that was... Uh, built-in hooks. I have five of these, one, two, three, four, five of these skeins, and uh, this is awesome. This could be, hmm, when we give these out, I'll probably have to link some videos on how to make things with this yarn. Um, and probably give a disclaimer, like, it's gonna take perseverance to learn how to do this, like, I'm trying the video, <laughs> and yeah, I feel like I, I will definitely need some instruction or video to help, <laughs> but they're really, really soft. Um, I cannot get over how kind it was for this woman to donate to me, um, like she reached out to me and she paid $40 for shipping, like for all this yarn, so if she ever finds this video, thank you. I'm going to message her to sh just let her know I got it and I said thank you. And I'll probably also, I don't know, might send her another thank you note or a picture of what the kids make or something. It just like restored my faith in humanity. <laughs> and ugh. so I figured I would turn this into a video and show everyone. It was so nice of her. <laughs> Um, yeah, and again, in this box, there were 14 pounds of yarn. Like, so nice. If she has 14 pounds, imagine how much other knitters and crocheters have just lying around in their house. Anyway, next is Bernat. We have this Bernat Velvet. It says Stitch and Wind. There's five skeins of this, and it's gorgeous. It is a huge ball of yarn. It's 
says I can make a blanket. This is da, da, how many grams? I think it said it was like 300 grams. Yeah, yeah, 300 grams. And so you need two of those to make a blanket. <laughs> My kids are all talking about wanting to make blankets. I don't know if they know how long it's going to take. Um, but totally, the kids are going to love it. I'm definitely raffling this off to the kids, even though it is, um, bulkier. I might have to also lend them a, a jumbo hook, but this is beautiful to make a, a blanket. That said, I will also probably not give out more than two to one child because a blanket is quite the feat. And so yeah, I'll, I'll probably give out one or two at a time. Um, one could make a scarf maybe more than that. Then we have this other bulky. This is burnout blanket. It's extra and it's, talk about extra, it is so chunky, but very soft, not in a velvety way. Um, and so one of these is also 300 grams and I would imagine this can make like probably a small blanket for half of that or like, I'm wondering if I should go to the store and get a matching one so then they can make a blanket. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is our last skin of yarn in this box. Beautiful. And there's all of our bulky bulks. We got a lot. This is all the bulky bulks and all the alternative weight yarns. I'm going to put them all in here. Um, bring them to my vice principal, or she's my co-advisor. And just run it by her what she thinks, see what she thinks we should do. My idea is to do some yarn bombing at our school and like beautification. Uh, and then the other yarn I would use for kids, give to kids for personal projects. That's just a thought. There's a rainbow yarn too. I'm going to think some more on that. But this was the first box. So amazing. Okay, that was the first box. Now I bring out the second box. This one was six pounds and it is all lanyard. Literally all lanyard. This lanyard is perfect for keychains. If anyone went to summer camp or like did any after school program or anything growing up in the US, lanyards were the go to. Um, it's similar scale to like friendship bracelet making with thread. Um, so this is an amazing, also an amazing gift. When the, um, the woman who donated this, she sent me a message. She was like, I may have gone overboard, <laughs> but this is epic. This is exactly what my kids would love. So it looks like I have a bunch of solid colors and I'm just going to sort them by color. I don't know how she put them in this box. And um, I'm, I'm thinking for crochet, we can have a day where like whoever wants to learn how to make lanyards can make lanyards. Or I'm friends with the art teacher and there's... Um, Two art, the two art teachers at my school created an art club which meets on Thursdays and they they meet twice a month. One of their meetings is for a school-wide big like collaborative project like to decorate the school or whatever. The second meeting is for individual product projects for like the kids to make something they can take home. So this could be a good this I, I could donate this to them to have a you know a lanyard making day for the kids um because it's not directly related to crochet but and it's not enough for me to I don't have time during my homeroom to I don't think to have kids make lanyards oh I could do that actually I could also keep it for my homeroom to make lanyards 
Hmm. Um, I will think about it. I'll think about it because it might not be enough. This might not be enough to, for kids at art club. There's like 60 kids in art club, and I have like 16 kids in my homeroom. So we shall see. But yeah, there's amazing colors like I just showed. There's this multicolor. I remember this growing up. There's this multicolor. There was the silver speckle. There was a rainbow speckle. There was a gold speckle. There is also another multicolor. Mm, this one. Oh yeah, it has white. Why does it have toothpaste? White and blue. And purple. So that's the lanyard. That was the second box. I am so grateful for this woman. Whew. that's the video um hope you had fun unboxing it like i did the kids are going to love these donations and i'm excited to see what they make and i will provide an update how things go bye